Hey beautiful people, what is up? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so I wasn't gonna do this, but I had to come back and do a second look with the Isam Cosmetics Harmony palette. This is the newest release from the brand. It's the all matte, well, the second all matte palette, but as you can see, this one is definitely more plum, more yellows, more marigolds, as they say. And I needed to do a second look because the first video that I did on this one, which I'll be sure to link down below, I did combine this with the shimmer palettes from Isam Cosmetics. Nothing is wrong with that. I am not somebody that does an all matte look, but I want to try. <laughs> and this has been sitting in my mind because one, it's a beautiful palette, but it's kind of just been, you know, rolling around in my mind and I want to try to do an all matte look because it's not something that I typically do. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do an all matte look and I'm going to try to focus on this side of the palette because last time we really did the plums and the pinks here. So let's focus on this side of the palette. So it's going to be like a very sort of warm neutral look. And I want to try to stick to this palette. If you watch that original video, you'll see that one of the cons, if you want to call it that, of this palette is that overall the depth, it doesn't go that deep. Now that's not a problem because for me, I have the other matte palette in which I can reach into the dark brown or the dark black and I can use that to, is my battery dead? I think my mic battery dead, so I might have to change it out. But I can reach into that palette to um, deepen up the shades. So I don't mind that. But because if you are planning to buy this just by itself, you might have to reach into another palette to get a deep uh, matte shade. Um, before I stop this and change all the battery in the mic, I just want to say welcome if this is your first time joining me. I'm Jamila. I love all things beauty. I love all things makeup, skincare, all that fun jazz. And on my channel, I like to share... All the tips and tricks that I have for finding high-end luxury and indie beauty products at the best prices because I personally don't believe in paying full price for makeups. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the fam, and let's go ahead and dive into this second look using the Isam palette. Okay, so we are back and ready to dive right in. Like I said, I'm going to focus on these two rows, which are the more yellow peachy rose versus the more pinky plummy shades. I'm going to start by going into this peach shade as my transition shade, plopping that into the crease. Giving me a picture of what I already know in the darkness. So I do prime my lids with concealer and today I went in with a concealer that's a little bit deeper than I typically do. Um, so just something to note. Um, like this is showing up, but it's not super pigmented because I think of the concealer shade that I'm using right now, which is fine because Given that I'm doing this all matte look, I kind of want it to be really nice and soft and just like beautiful and buttery. Um, and not like dry and crusty. And because I don't have a deep shade and my challenge to myself in this look is to try to just use this palette, I'm okay with this. That's what I'm saying. That was a real roundabout thing to say that I'm fine with this. Now, to let's continue building. So let's keep going down the row. Um, sorry, the column. I'm gonna go into the slightly deeper peachy shade. Again, plopping that into that crease area. Because I'm not familiar with matte looks, I don't want to add it too much, and then it just looks like dusty and powdery on the lids. But you know. Makeup is all about experimenting, trying something new, what you may or may not be comfortable with. So that's essentially what I'm trying to do here. Just play and see where it goes. And then using the same brush, I'm going to go one deeper into the... It's like a deep brown, but ooh, that's pretty. Like this is a beautiful warm eye. Like I know what I have in mind. <laughs> For this look so i'm hoping it turns out the way i envision it like i'm really going for this it's kind of like a sunset sunrise well more like sunrise than sunset because you know sunset has those beautiful purple plummy pinky shades no i just want like 
orange and yellow. So more like a sunrise than a sunset. Oh, that is so pretty. Walks into the window. So I'm applying it to the Ulta pot, but I'm actually bringing it in kind of just generally over the lid, which yeah, like to the middle parts of the lid right there, which is just stunning. Oh, okay. But only with the lights low. So as you can see, this is the deepest shade in, the, in this row. It doesn't give a ton of depth, but it is giving beautiful color. And I'm dragging that almost to like the midway point of the lid. Sober. Now, taking a smaller brush, this is the refer number 14. I'm actually gonna go one over into, this one is more like a true brown. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that. And I'm gonna just tap that into the outer part of the eye. Uh, I think this might actually be the deepest shade in this palette, really. And I'm just tapping it into the outer corner to try to give us a little bit more depth. Getting something. Better stop saying my name. Every time she leaves town. Oh, I should have showed you guys. This is it with the brown added for depth. Without. Do you guys do all matte looks? Is it just me <laughs> that's bad at this or that doesn't do all matte looks? Let me know. Is that something that you, is your go to? What happens when it's over? After a drink, you say. And now for the PS de Resus that's not the word. PS de Resistance. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, for the last part in this look, I'm actually going to go into this yellow shade. This yellow shade has been living in my head rent-free uh, for so long. So I'm going to take the Wicca brush from Sonia G. And this is really what I want to apply. Ooh, just all over the lid. You know, I've never tried to apply a matte shadow with my finger. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to take my finger. Because these actually do swatch quite nice on the skin. Okay. I guess you can apply matte shadows with your finger. Now, I wouldn't recommend this. I was just curious. Your frame walks into the window. Now, one thing I will say is that the key to an all matte look is to not over blend, especially like if you're trying to lay a matte shade down on the lid, you're going to just want to pat it in instead of like blending, which you guys know, I love a good blend. I will blend till thy kingdom come, but for this, you really just have to pat it on. So this is what the eyes are looking like. Focus. There we go. So you guys see the vision. You see what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna go ahead, clean up the rest of my face. Well, clean up this look, finish the rest of my face, and then I'll come back and show you guys the final look. No, cause it's spoken for. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm thinking it over. Wonder if you ever told her. No, cause it's spoken for. No, cause it's spoken for. You call. I don't pick up at all. Okay, so this is the final look. Let me take my hair down. I got my little twisties in today, so. I'm not gonna take them out today, but like, l let the little twisties go. <laughs> Anyways, this is the final look. Um, for the rest of my face, just really, really quickly. I am using my Fenty Ease Drops Skin Tint because I wanted something that was a little bit light on the face. I'm actually wearing a different concealer today, the Sephora Micro Smooth Concealer because I think I'm pretty done with my Rare Beauty Concealer. For my bronzer, I am using the LYS bronzer. I have a huge pan in this and quite frankly, I would love to be able to empty this. So that's what I'm using for bronzer. For blush, I'm using, this is like one of my favorite, like 
just blush formulas in general. And this is the Blunzas from Bare Minerals. Um, I'm wearing the Kiss a Couple shade. This is, it's a little bit on the orange side. I have like huge divot in that one because I love this formula. So that's what I'm using for bronzer. And highlight is an oldie discontinued one. This is the Old House Labs. Uh, what's this called? Tutti Gel Powder Highlighter. <laughs> This was like the last thing that the brand released. Stunning. Like it is a stunning highlight. And for my lips, I'm wearing Lisa Eldridge Cinnabar because that is just like a go-to in that you can't go wrong with Cinnabar on your lips. Like there's just no way to go wrong with Lisa Eldridge. Um, so this is the all matte look that I came up with. I actually really, really like this. I think it turned out so nice. I... It makes me want to try more all matte looks. When it comes to the Isam formula and in terms of how it performed, I really like it. I think it was buttery. I think it was super duper blendable. So if you want to use it as simply something that you uh, blend out the edges with or you know, you're pairing it with an all shimmer palette, it's gonna work fine. But if you also wanna create just a simple all matte look, it's gonna do that really nicely as well. So. I am very excited, like I said in my original video, to add this to my collection. I think it fills the gaps in the Isam matte lineup, and I'm really hoping that next up we'll see some colorful mattes, because I think this adds to more of the neutral vein of things, uh, so it'd be nice to see some colorful mattes come in as well. This is definitely going to be one that I'm going to continue to use, and I really do appreciate that because of the design of this palette. These shades can be easily popped out and because I do have the original matte palette which does have those deeper mattes, I can actually plop like the dark brown or the dark black in here. Dark black, I mean black is dark, right? But yeah, I can either pop the, the brown or the black in here and you have a deepening shade in this palette. So I might play around with mixing up some of these a little bit more and I will definitely be mixing them when I travel because the best thing about these palettes is that they're very, very travel friendly. So you can pop out just the mattes that you need, just the shimmers that you need and put it into one palette so you have the perfect travel palette. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me come back and do a second all matte look with this palette. I am shooketh and really really happy with this look overall so thank you guys for watching i appreciate you so much more than you know don't forget to leave a comment letting me know if you plan on picking this up or if you want to see me do more looks with this um uh, or whatever it is you want to leave an orange hot because we are giving sunrise on the eyes today um and as always don't forget to hit that subscribe button ring the bell so you never miss content from me thank you guys so much and i'll catch you in my next one bye